in order to allow remote connections to your SQL Server, there are two things that you need to do. You need to enable TCP IP and you need to create a firewall rule or disable the firewall on your server. Right, so the first one we're going to look at is enabling TCP IP. So you need to connect to your SQL Server Manager and then go to protocols for this instance that you want to enable the remote connection for. Right, and then you ensure that you enable the TCP IP. If you notice, you'll require a restart. So let's select properties. Let's select IP. And this is the port that it will be connecting over. The next step is creating a firewall rule. So on Windows, it's Windows Defender Firewall. In Windows Defender, select Advanced Settings. And then on Inbound Rules, you're going to create an inbound rule. And so you right click on Inbound Rules and select New Rule. Select Port and then select Next. Specify the port that you want to allow. It's 1433. Then select Next. And then select Next. Select Next. And then specify a name for your firewall rule. So this is just going to be SQL Firewall. And then Finish. Now once you do that, you should be able to connect to your SQL Server remotely. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.